In early February of 2021, one beloved Star Wars actress shared a message that ultimately got her fired from the famous franchise. It wasn't too long after Gina Carano shared her thoughts and opinions that Disney executives decided to take serious action. Here are the Instagram posts that led Carano from being let go and why many fans are so upset. But before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button and turn on your post notifications to never miss out on major Hollywood news. Now, let's jump into the video. Former mixed martial artist fighter and model, Gina Carano, was set to become the next big Hollywood star. Ever since she found her niche in action blockbusters, Carano has been gracing the screens as superheroes and supervillains. But it was ultimately her big break on the Disney Plus show, The Mandalorian, that made Gina Carano a household name. Playing the role of the skilled warrior, Cara Dune, Gina won the hearts of millions across the globe. And while her Star Wars fame put her on the map, it was the actress's recent scandal that made Carano a headlining topic. On February 9th of 2021, the model and MMA fighter shared a picture on her Instagram stories that instantly caught widespread attention. The Mandalorian actress took to her social media to express her thoughts on the current U.S. political climate. In her now-deleted post, Gina likened the experience of Jews during the Holocaust to the political picture of the United States. The original post read, Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children. Because history is edited, most people today don't realize that to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? It wasn't too long after Carano's post went live that the actress was met with a huge backlash online. Even after deleting her original Instagram story, fans began campaigning and trending hashtag Fire Gina Carano. Soon enough, the controversy caught the attention of major magazine and online publications, and Gina Carano found herself as the headlining topic on social media. Here is what the general public had to say about Gina's controversial Instagram story, and what diehard Star Wars fans began demanding from Disney. As a Jewish person, this is fucking vile and unnecessary. Gina Carano needs to be held accountable. The oppression my people have faced because of our religion and ethnicity is not the same as political disagreements. Can you even imagine being Jewish? Maybe even have family who died in the Holocaust and have to work with Gina Carano, who compares people speaking out against her to Nazis who murdered your family during World War II and at Disney won't do anything about it? My heart breaks for those who either stopped watching or don't care to watch The Mandalorian due to Gina Carano. It's time for everyone at Disney and at Star Wars to finally listen to and understand why fans are upset and take the proper action. Hashtag Fire Gina Carano. As you see, the MMA fighters post received a lot of criticism on Twitter and social media. Not only was the general public calling out the actress's message, but Star Wars fans were also demanding Gina be removed from the TV series. And with so much traction, backlash, and hate, the Hollywood production company Lucasfilms had no other choice but to take action. And so, the following day, on February 10th, the Walt Disney subsidiary company made a public statement regarding Gina Carano's position at The Mandalorian. A spokesperson for Lucasfilms confirmed to Variety magazine, Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm, and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. But it wasn't only the Disney Plus TV series that parted ways with Gina Carano, because as it was later announced, the American merchandise company Hasbro also decided to stop working with the actress. In a statement released by The Hollywood Reporter, Hasbro confirmed, the Star Wars Black Cara Dune figure was released in 2020 and sold out not long after the inventory was received. Hasbro planned for another production run and we were accepting pre-orders from that production run. Due to recent events, Hasbro was no longer approved to produce any more of this figure. The Hollywood production company's decision to fire Carano came as a bit of a surprise to most. As it was reported a couple of months prior, Gina Carano was set to be the star of a Mandalorian spin-off series, which was set to begin production in the fall of 2021. But after the actress's scandal overtook social media platforms and online publications, Lucasfilms ultimately decided to cut all ties with the MMA fighter. 
After all, Gina's nasty Instagram post isn't the only controversial comment she has made in the past. In 2020, numerous reports began circulating the internet, making light of the mixed model and actress's insensitive comments and online posts. In September, Gina was accused of mocking the transgender community. It all started when the Mandalorian actress was asked by loyal fans if she would add pronouns to her social media bios as a way to show solidarity to the trans community. As many entertainers and public figures have begun adding gender pronouns in their bios, fans wondered if Gina Carano would show the same support. And that's when the MMA fighter's bio changed to beep, bop, boop. It wasn't long after fans began noticing the change that many began calling out Carano for being insensitive and mocking the trans community. Shortly after, Gina went on her social media platforms to set the record straight about her recent actions. They're mad because I won't put pronouns in my bio to show my support for trans lives. After months of harassing me in every way, I decided to put three very controversial words in my bio. Beep bop boop. I'm not against trans lives at all. They need to find less abusive representation. I don't think trans people would like all of you trying to force a woman to put something in her bio through harassment and name calling every day for months, such as racist, transphobe, bitch, weirdo, I hope you die, I hope you lose your career, you're fat, you're ugly. Beep Bop Boop has zero to do with mocking trans people and more to do with exposing the bullying mentality of the mob that has taken over the voices of many genuine causes. I want people to know you can take hate with a smile. So boop you for misunderstanding. Hashtag all love, no hate. But that's not all the Mandalorian actress had to say about her controversy. Soon after her gender bio pronouns made waves online, many fans began bombarding Gina with questions regarding her co-star, Pedro Pascal. Pedro's sister, Lux Pascal, recently came out as a transgender, which is why diehard Star Wars stands wondered about Gina and Pedro's friendship. In a now-deleted tweet, Corrado replied to a fan by stating, Yes, Pedro and I spoke, and he helped me understand why people were putting them in their bios. I didn't know before, but I do now. I won't be putting them in my bio, but good for all of you who choose to. I stand against bullying, especially the most vulnerable and freedom to choose. When Hollywood stars and influencers find themselves in the middle of controversies and scandals, it's not unusual to hear their side of the story. And on February 16th, 2021, the Star Wars actress released her own statement. Addressing her recent termination and her future plans, Gina Carano opened up to Deadline magazine. The Daily Wire is helping make one of my dreams to develop and produce my own film come true. I cried out and my prayer was answered. I'm sending out a direct message of hope to everyone living in fear of cancellation by the totalitarian mob. I have only just begun using my voice, which is now freer than ever before and I hope it inspires others to do the same. They can't cancel us if we don't let them. Corona will develop, produce, and star in the upcoming film, which The Daily Wire says it will release exclusively to its members as the company looks to bolster its entertainment division. The Daily Wire is an American conservative news company which was co-created by the controversial politician commenter Ben Shapiro. When talking about bringing Corona on board, Shapiro shared the deadline. We could not be more excited to be working with Gina Carano, an incredible talent dumped by Disney and Lucasfilm for offending the authoritarian Hollywood left. This is what Daily Wire exists to do, provide an alternative, not just for consumers, but for creators who refuse to bow to the mob. We're eager to bring Gina's talent to Americans who love her, and we're just as eager to show Hollywood that if they want to keep canceling those who think differently, they'll just be helping us build the X-Wing to take down their Death Star. And so, while Gina Carano may have been let go from the exclusive Star Wars universe and franchise, it looks like the actress has an upcoming project to look forward to, and with a more conservative backbone at its core. But what do you think? Should Gina Carano have been fired from The Mandalorian? What did you think about her questionable social media post? We would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below.